Hello. So this happened. We weren't supposed to thrift. Oh, oh. But we got good deals. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Irving, Texas, y'all. We went to an estate sale. And here's what I got. We got. This was $2. Bless this home. Yes, it needs blessings. This is Lennox Butterfly Meadow. $2. It should sell for like $28 free shipping. So we'll probably make a good 10 bucks um, profit overall. And the only other thing was this little electric fondue cookbook for like a dollar. So cute. I love it. That's just for me. My treat. Next, these are all mixed up. So I'm just going to tell you we went to Texas Thrift, Goodwill, and Thrift Giant. Let's start with these. I'm just not even going to tell you. It's one of those thrift stores. This was $7 for the three of these. They fit inside of each other, so they're stacking. And they're just so cute. I want them for myself, but okay. First of all, they're made of like really heavy duty cardboard, you know? They're meant to be like gift boxes, kind of. But they have that retro feel, first of all, which I love, but it's like, ugh, I don't need to keep it. So technically it was about $2 each, but I think we can sell the set of three really high. Okay, someone has it listed for 108. I highly doubt that. But it doesn't hurt to try. We could list it for maybe 80. Who knows? Um, we just gotta get that grease pencil off. From Natalie Let Pour Villac. I'm not good at French. Okay, this is super cool. Piping Chanter Kit. I'm a music teacher, as you know. Bagpipes of Caledonia. This was only $2. It is basically a beginner's bagpipe kit. They have old sets that have um, a cassette tape, but this one has a CD. Look, it even comes with a reed. So cool. They're only going for like 15 to 20. So this is kind of just like a music teacher thing I'm gonna keep. Maybe sell it. But it would be interesting to play around with, which I think I will. This is so interesting and weird. This was $2. Just take a good look at that. Man, hand, baby. I don't know, it's art. You can't put labels on art, honey. $1.99, very interesting to say the least. This was something my mom brought to Matthew and she was like, look at this ugly painting. Actually, she didn't say that per se. She was like, she said this ugly painting reminds me of you. <laughs> <laughs> she has her dancer arm, her dancer foot. But it's signed. It is signed. This was $5.99. Needs to be cleaned up. Um, it says Garden Ridge, but the artist, there's a cardboard insert of where the artist signed. Okay, this I love, 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 love. It's to keep or sell eventually. That's what everything is. Um, it is Jeanette. Royal China by Jeanette. Woodland Magic. I love it so much. I've never seen these at a thrift store. It was a set of four dinner plates for $6, and I personally think that's a great deal. Um, I wish it was cheaper, obviously. They're heavy and Really nice. This is a platter for $2. That's a great deal. And then we have uh, four dessert plates for $4, so a dollar each. I love it so much. If you look at my hutch. Oh, I have a hutch. Um, it kind of goes with these glasses, but I don't think they're the same company. Love it so much. Look at this. Love it. Malamine, my compliments to the chef. Thank you, 1965. I think that's just the trademark. This doesn't look that old. It's probably 80s or 90s, but 99 cents, I love. I was in, I always look for stuff like this, y'all. It had two sets of four, a dollar each. I thought it was um, Interpure, 
which I love. But these are Northland stainless steel. You have like a little tiny olive fork, a spreader, and just forks. I love them so much. I've always been on the lookout for those. Hi, boys. Just having a calm Sunday. This is from the German Airlines Lufthansa. Um, it's a little mini coaster. I think it's beautiful. It was 99 cents, I think. The art is 88. I don't think this was made in 88. But anyways, it's really cool. And it sold for $12 plus shipping earlier. So we're going to sell it. But it's pretty. This is just a cool noodle cup. It was $3 from Suck UK. Suck Uck. Uh, it's just a noodle cup, like a ramen noodle thing. I think it's cute. I love Japanese, you know. This, I just liked. Weed Whacker. So cute. Whack those weeds and drink that beer. Hey, hey, hey. St. Honor Beer. Yeah, I just liked it. A dollar, 99 cents. These, I got at the last minute. So beautiful. It's like a mid-century looking um, snowflake, I think. Snowflake liberal. Sputnik Atomic, yet modern. How much do we love it? Anyways, the reason why I got it is Dario Farucci. We have a his art and dishware sell pretty well. I think it was originally like Home Goods or maybe Macy's. I don't know, but she sold me the set of five. I mean, the set of six for five dollars. So I got one free basically. Um, yeah, we have a Santa plate listed high, so I just knew the brand and decided to get it. These Matthew found awesome, love, love, love. We haven't found them yet, but you can tell by the glaze that it's Washer's Buck. And I just love them. They're like 90s meets, uh, I like how they call it knock resistant. I think it means like chip resistant. Um, by the way, speaking of Germany, thanks Jason, look. We just sold that monkey head for $50 to a, someone in Germany and they paid $42 for shipping. So they paid 90. I bought that bottle for like 35 bucks. So it's deadhead dark chocolate rum and it's pretty good. I like to put in it in my cocktails for the winter. He's got that big old bone. Anyways, four Worcester's Bach plates for four dollars. So a dollar each. Can't beat it. Um, got my Scotty Peeler, but that's Matthew's job. Just kidding. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hi. Oh, we just bought one of these. It is Worcester's Bach as well. 1979, the original red plate. You are special today and you are special tomorrow, but I don't know about Wednesday. Let's see how well you act. Um, that was $2, so we can just list them together or separately, quantity two. I picked this up simply because we sold a lot of high-priced Susan Wingett. I didn't even need to see all of it. I already knew it was Susan Wingett, and it was half off, so this was a dollar. I think it's beautiful. Obviously, this is a Sarah, but I, I've never seen what does Sarah mean? smash and run away, like get. Um, tiki's. Mm-hmm. Bolo alert. Bolo alert. What does Bolo mean? Be on the lookout. This is a Daughters of the American mm -hmm. Revolution pineapple scarf. Thank we you. We have sold two of these so far for at least 25 each, plus shipping. Quick sale, too. Quick sale, both times, so this is our third one. Seriously, if you see them, grab it. But don't oversaturate the market. Wait till we sell this one. Don't you dare put them below $20. Yeah, don't water down the market either. We hate water. Okay, uh, Starbucks, get the door. Hey, Danielle, get the dog off my yard. Can you put me a pot of Boston coffee on? Get me my Starbucks mug. Thank you. A dollar ninety-eight. Love it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's gorgina. Gorgina. Okay. 
Starbucks, I actually really like this one. I want to keep it, but I want to sell it. $1.98. I want to keep everything. Let's be honest. This is from my classroom. It's an Ipsy. Ipsy doesn't sell well, I don't think, because it's very common, but they're cute. This is for me to put my tickets in when I do my drawings for my students. And it has little dominoes inside. This was just a dollar. Um, this, Matthew taught me, because we've sold two of these. Matthew's photographing over there. Let's go check it out. What you doing? Look at the boys. Oh, in his natural habitat. Oh, he put a ring on it. And I use props. <laughs> Stand up. He's so cute. Because he doesn't stand up. Uh oh, he drunk. He needs a prop. He drunk. And Pete's helping. Aren't you helping? Pete, to... this is your business. Oh, he's supervising. Almost got eaten. Oh, he wants this. Anyways, that's what we're doing. It's a rainy Sunday. Um, this is a alpaca horn. I'll pack a corn. I'll pack a corn. By the way, here's some corn. Anyways, we all know corn does not digest. But the deals, I don't know. I need more coffee. Anyways, that, that was a dollar. What did you say? You need less coffee. No. Who is this moderation we're supposed to be drinking with? This is a melamine tray. From Ann Tainter. Obviously, it's popular, but I liked it. It was 50 cents. Um, the boys are being ranky kank. Anyways, these, I knew what they were right away. I'm like, hmm, that looks like it's probably part of a nativity. And it's so cute, and it looks like precious moments, and I was right. This was... Four dollars, and this was three dollars, and you would say, "Aaron, why did you? What? Why would you spend seven dollars on that, Aaron? Why? Because I like Inesco. Leave me alone. Um, no, because nativity stuff I know just sell well, and I was right. In the box, it sold. It sold in November, November thirtieth, which was just like three months ago. No, two months ago. No, three. Okay, anyways, they are in Esco and they sold for $91. There we go. And they sell for like 60, 70, 80. They're all over the place. So for $7, that's a big ROI. Return on investment. Look at this ramen poodle and the little shrimps. I love it. $3. That's for me. You can't take that away from me. Um, this is Build-A-Bear clothes. It was $3, but it had a Build-A-Bear. So he's going to sell the dressy. What kind of dress is it? A fairy dress. How come? How cute, because she's a fairy. And she has what? Wings. Attached to wings. Attached wings. Anyway, she's being washed right now. I also got this purple Domo. I love it. Matthew didn't mean to buy this, but he put it in my cart. $2, it's from Ferdinand. What's his name? Dose. Dose. So he could sell for like 12 free shipping, so it wasn't a bad choice. We'll just make maybe $6 on him. This is an Ikea, and you should always pick up Ikea plushes. It's called... Drake. Millen Drake. Oh! It was like, was it a dollar or something? Uh, yeah. It was a dollar. And they sell upwards of 40 Hmm... Between 20 and 40, it depends on when you're selling it. Okay, so either way, really good. This is from, this is a vintage Dakin. You can tell by the, by the date <laughs> and by the tag. It is, what's his name? Opus. Opus. So cute. And this was like Post Washington Post comment. And it says it's his yuppie face. He has his little tie, his little collar, his little shoes. In the 80s, yuppies were like businessmen and kind of made fun of for like how they dressed. Like when somebody was a hippie and then they turned into a yuppie, they like wore a suit and tie all the time. And 
work for the establishment, man. So that's why he was trending back then. Yeah. What he said. And it'll sell. Wasn't it like two dollars? That was no tea, no shade. <laughs> what he said. I'm just saying, you yes. did good. Oh, I shouldn't do no that. No more coffee. I shouldn't do that. Yeah. Anyways, look. Look at this thing. Isn't it fun? Why don't you think that cocktails are number one? This is a 2001 Target Light. Um, we gotta get that off. But uh, it was $5.99. I love it so much. It'll probably go right there. I think it's perfect. Love, 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 love. Okay, this is one of those flip a -doos. They flip. See, she's in there. She's hiding. It's kind of trippy. Anyways, she's from Cinderella on Broadway. And it was like $2, so of course we snatched that up. Matthew didn't know it was for Broadway until this morning. Okay, this is for me. So, so happy. Andrew, you're going to like this. $2. I've always wanted something like this. I'm gonna pet it and have it to hold. Five pounds of chilies, Kraft American pasteurized processed chilies. Look at that, Kraft pimenta, pimenta, Kraft pimenta. <laughs> I love it so much, two dollars. Look at this, look how cute this is. Frost King, do it yourself. Weatherproof plastic. On furniture webbing for your needs. It was <laughs> two twenty-five. I don't know why I just liked it. So me. All these mugs were probably about eighty cents each because she charged me like I had like ten, and she didn't charge me ten dollars. She charged like yeah, no, you had thirteen uh, glasses total, and she charged you for eleven. Oh, okay. Probably because some were like a juice glass or something. So. Yeah, because there was like a hundred people behind us and she was ready. To yeah, she was ready to go. I knew it was yesteryear by Westwood, 1992. I have another coffee mug like this. I love the colors. It's awesome. So I'm just going to say they're each like 80 cents. This reminds me of Charles Phoenix, the Blue Swallow Motel Route 66. 100% refrigerated air. So fun, and we love New Mexico. I just had to get that. I love, love, love Old Farmer's Almanac mugs. I've only seen one or two before. Chemically speaking, Amanda's 45 pounds of carbon and nitrogen diffused through five and a half pails of water. I think that's 45 pounds of baloney. Just kidding. It has facts, I just really like it. It's probably for me, but it'll get sold. It's Westwood as well. Someone must have collected Westwood. I love this so much, I don't wanna sell it. Meals on Wheels, I actually know uh, someone who always does Meals on Wheels, so this is so cool. It's Garfield, I love it so much. It is from 1980, dang! 40 years old, are you kidding? Okay, Hilo Hattie, I love this mug. I have like four different ones, don't have this one. They don't sell very well, but it's pretty, so I got it. They don't sell for what we want to sell at. They sell for like four dollars. Maybe eight on a good day. Anyways. And depending on the pattern. So. Yeah. And this one's really dirty, but it's 2012. It's a siren. If photographed correctly and sold, I feel like we should, well, we can list now, but I feel like it won't sell for a while. It'll sit, but people will want it eventually. I love this. It is Santa's Magical Cookies by Sakura. Um, I already have one and I drank out of it this winter. I just love it so much. This is so beautiful. I found out this is the terracotta color, Matthew, and there's not many on eBay either. I don't think it'll sell high, but I think it'll sell. Fitz and Floyd, which I love, but it's from the Correlations line. And I love this from Italy, or made in Italy at least. 80 cents. I love Sandra Boynton. This is dirty, but it'll clean up, of course. Boink. Hippo birdie, two years. So cute. This, I love. It is. 
Okay, form your thoughts. This is a chicken noodle soup bouquet from FTD. I just think it's cute. That means like flowers or something was in here. I absolutely love it. I love Blanche de Bruxelles. He's tinkling. He's having a tea tea. So this is to keep. It's a frosted little mini Pilsner glass. This is a Sarah, probably. There's no marker. And I just liked this thing. It'll just kind of look cute displayed, I know. Smash and run away, but no, I paid $2 for it and I'm not ashamed. Because sometimes I buy things for what they look like. Yes, I'm culture trash. Just kidding. Uh, stay classy, San Diego. I will. Um, I will. <laughs> I guess that's from Anchorman, right? That's a dollar. These are so cool. Matthew got this. Um, all sheer to the waist pantyhose. Made especially for hot pants. A dollar. At the Goodwill. She's pouring them on. Okay. Muffin top, speaking of me, bake with just a little something extra. Horneados con arguito extra. There's four of them. By Fred. I love Fred products. Three dollars. I just thought they were cute. They're not to sell. Um, I think that's it. Wow. I finished the first week back thrifting after doing a dry January. And I have gone overboard, but Matthew and I have had so much fun. We're loving eBay, and now we are sad because we got to put it all away and find places for it. But love y'all. Take care. And remember, Pete's has treasures for you.